the fact that that other creature regenerates health extra fast because it could eat every kind of meat, or the fact that this one regenerates extra fast because it eats shit alive. That is just crazy. What is going on guys? Ryan here playing Ark Survival Evolve here on the Scorched Earth map checking out some crazy shit that's not even completed yet which makes it so much more awesome when stuff is brought to you early. Early access, sneak peek stuff is just my favorite kind of stuff ever. So behind me right now is the hive creature. Look at the size of this beast. This is pretty much what it looks like. This is like the standard scaling in the dev kit as well. Now, this creature is available in the dev kit. It's supposed to be a, a uh, Scorched Earth creature, if I'm correct. It's it's kind of hard to gather all the information for this guy because he doesn't he doesn't even have a dossier. It's, it's just like a mystery creature. Although it's like there is some information granted about it. Now this thing right here, as you can see, it is like a wolf. It's a dire wolf just reshaped into this. It's because the creature isn't completed at all in the dev kit. It's like all we have is the basic shape of it and then a few animations. One of those animations actually is where it lets off a swarm of insects off these little pores, like these holes in its back. Obviously it's not completed yet, like you can't even say they're not even existent at the moment, but that's like what that's intended for. That's how early the creature is. Also, excuse my ridiculously raspy voice, this is the first video of the day. I always wake up with a horrible sore throat. I play freaking Battlefield till like 5 a.m. And then I pass out sleeping with my mouth wide open with the window open and the fan on. I always wake up with like strep fucking throat till like 2 in the afternoon. I hate it. So this bad boy, we got this bad boy and two other creatures that aren't even out yet. Super big thanks to the Mystic Academy mod dev for bringing all of these things to us before even completion. Seriously, there is no animation to ride the guys. That's just... <laughs> there is no animation whatsoever to board this creature, so we're just going to ignore that. I feel like some people when reviewing this might just leave out the riding the creature aspect, but it's the way I see it, it's the best way to get the creature moving around and to see the kind of, the kind of things we're going to be looking forward to. See, I assume it actually is going to walk on all four, or not on all fours, on all eights. Is this an arachnid? It has like, it has eight legs and two arm-like appendages? How's that work? I need to study my insects and arachnids and all that better so I have a better classification for what we're looking at right here. But either way, this is it. So what do you got so far, buddy? He's just, look at that little punch. Who are you kidding with that thing? Look at that little fucking, looks like he's like poking somebody with his finger. That is the funniest little bitch punch I've ever seen. <laughs> See, that's a punch, buddy. I assume if I keep pressing buttons on this guy, I'm going to crash the game in fact, so I'm just going to leave him alone for now. See, it's like, so he is added to the mod, he is added to the world. This I'll call this video modded just for the sake of people losing their shit in the comment section if it's a mod and you don't put modded in the title, even though these creatures aren't intended to be modded creatures. The only reason it's modded is because that's how we're getting access to them early. It's like they are actually going to be standard art creatures. This is going to be found in the in Scorched Earth and... um. And when you do upset this creature, there is going to be swarms let loose, letting loose off its back. The little creatures are terrifying too. They're about, I don't know, I'd say they're a little bigger than a Mega Nera, but like it's the fact that it's going to go from zero to like a hundred of them in a second. That's what's going to suck ass just as soon as you find this guy. This is like the, uh, what do you call those ones, those flood creatures in Halo, those big bulbous bastards who would just, as soon as you see them, they just self-destruct into like a hundred little things that just devour the marines around you. This is pretty much what that creature is going to be as far as... As far as art goes, he's pretty goddamn big too. Insects, man. Insects are terrifying when they're... If, if they're not that big, then they're terrifying. This is like Starship Troopers all over again. Going to war with the bugs. And I think this is all I could show for this guy for the time being. Unless I could just somehow phase out of him. So these things are going to be badass. Yeah, it's, it's even amazing that they're even this much completed, to be honest. Because, like, literally if you look them up in the dev kit, they're just a still standing statue that kind of stands there idly. Thank you so much for bringing them to the game. Look at this. This, this kind of shit is just going to be terrifying. You better just enjoy them now before the swarms do come off their back. Because that's going to be, it's going to be horrifying. There's going to be so many people having their flesh ripped apart by insects. This thing is badass. I also think he actually took the, I don't know. I don't know if he colored it. The colors might be complete. He also might have colored it though. These might not be, this might not be the standard color they come in. But I don't know. Because again, it's hard to look up any information on them. And in the dev kit, they're just pitch white. I think it's beautiful though. You can tell it's definitely not... Like, definitely not nearing completion in the dev kit. The modders are definitely going to complete this creature way before the arc devs do, but they got to space them out, you know? They got to release the berry and all those other creatures immediately. This guy's more planned off in the future. Freaking terrifying, though. Those little spikes down his face. It's any, any, looking at any insect in any large form always creeps me the hell out. Like, have you guys ever seen a, an ant under, like, a thousand times powered microscope? It looks like this. It looks like a giant fucking just beetle monster. It's terrifying. Holy shit! These things are fast as hell too, they haul ass behind you, look at this, the other one's just trying to catch up and save me. 
If they are in fact this fast, if, I mean if they are in fact this fast, then this is gonna be a huge ass problem right here. Cause this, son, this son of a bitch, I have like my speed maxed out. And he's just keeping on my tail non-stop. These beetles will be terrifying. It's just more giant shit to chase you around the map. Cause you can't exactly just charge these guys up. Maybe if you shoot them from a distance, that'd be safe. But if you just charge these guys with a melee weapon, they're just gonna unleash a swarm of flesh-eating insects onto your body and it's gonna be horrific. It's gonna be the freaking plagues of Egypt all over again. There really is no outrunning this bitch. Does he- he's, he's relentless. Look at that, we're even outrunning a raptor. We, <laughs> we both just ran past a raptor. That's how intense this chase will be right here. I suppose until he has the insects coming off his back though, you're pretty much getting off lucky. Okay, up next we have the Deodon. I believe it's pronounced Deodon. It looks like it's pronounced Deodon. As you can see, it's also modeled after a direwolf. A lot of these creatures we're looking at right now, we're just showing off for the sake of everybody who loves Ark and all the creatures that will soon be added to it. So I figured you guys would want to see this ish for sure. Cause dude, seriously, thanks so much, Mystic Mod Dev. Like these, these, like, it's also, it's, it's just, it's, we just wouldn't have seen these things for like months, I'll bet, unless until he stepped in. So this creature, of course, I figured it was appropriate to show off on the Scorched Earth map as well because it's, it's able to survive on like grassy lands or like desert drylands because of its ridiculous diet. It's like straight up omnivore. It looks fucking terrifying. It looks like if Cubone and a dog and some other- I don't even want to get into the genetic mix up with this thing, but it looks- It looks like it packs a punch and it's extreme- it's an omnivore with like an extremely non-picky diet. So I'm assuming you should be able to feed it everything except like rotten flesh. Everything from fish, meat, freaking berries, anything. It should be able to survive just fine, but the only issue with it is it's like it, it rapidly loses food Like it's got to keep eating constantly, but it also regenerates health almost instantly or just at a much more accelerated speed So he's like great for combat. You could bring a bunch of them in as long as they're holy shit balls But I mean you can bring a bunch of them in and then they all just wreck face and if they're all about to die They all regenerate so fast after and they can eat anything I know I keep like saying that eat anything part, but it's it's <laughs> It's so convenient if you have to keep a, a creature well fed for him to just have like no diet whatsoever. It's a straight up hell hog, man. It's like a pig. It could straight. It would eat your your companion friends if they like. If you let the pig get too hungry. Are these things fierce. Yeah, all these creatures immediately go aggro on you, man. There's a serious, serious issue going on here. I suppose they are all aggro creatures, though. It actually makes much more sense. These things. Personally, I've never hunted a hog before, but I have buddies who hunt hogs all the time in Hawaii, and that shit sounds terrifying, yo. Like, a hog will straight up fuck your day up. Are these guys even gonna duke it out with each other? They might not be that completed, to be honest. Or they're just both friendly. What's going on? See, he wants to be hostile. The spirit is there, but the body's not willing. It's because he's not completed enough to have hostile attacks. You poor bastard. <laughs> he wants to hurt people. Or he does it, for the most part. I actually expected them to have somewhat of tusks. I guess they aren't that piggish, or I'm just basing it way too much off what I read in the dossier. These guys are gonna be great though for hunting squads. That's where they'll come in, because it's just, I don't know man, they're just, they're quick, brutal, little blunt force little bastards who just rapidly repel, repair health. They're like, they're not tanks. I wouldn't say they're tanks, but they're the next best thing from tanks. Is there like, is there a word for, for creatures and characters in a game who aren't tanks or support? They're just like, kind of right in the middle. I don't really play any of those types of games. Dude, I just can't have them attack anything. Come on, you bastard. I suppose there is like, that's exactly like that for Battlefield, but I always was, I was just play support or medic. I don't know anything I'd classify this guy as. We have another perfect Titan Oboa Chow as well. Like, you would fit right down the gullet of that creature so beautifully. Like, this is what, this is what would be right in its hunting, hunting ground. All in all, a very sexy creature though, man. I don't mean sexy in like attractiveness, obviously. I'm not physically attracted to this weird little beast, but I think he could definitely have his like part in a tribe. Like I could definitely get some use out of him. They essentially look like hellhounds. Like if you just cut the face off, uh, right there, that looks like some freakish ass hellhound right there. Then when you have that on, it's actually even better because hellhounds only consume flesh and these guys are omnivores. I'm assuming hellhounds consume flesh. I don't know the diets of mythological creatures, but I don't know, man, if this is, as long as he's an omnivore, you could just have this guy mowing down everything. You come across an army of bushes, eat that shit. Come across an army of tribesmen, eat that shit. It's just beautiful. Okay, now I feel kind of silly for doing the hive and the other ones first, and actually even calling that little pig bastard, like, a version of, like, a, some sort of hellhound. That was completely inappropriate now. I could not feel more inc incorrect, because now I'm looking at the hyenodon, which actually is the little hunter hellhound creature I was looking for. Jesus Christ, never mind. It's just replace every compliment I gave that last creature in any sense that I'd be using it with this guy right here, because this is the horrible little beast of which I would have accompany me in packs. Now this guy, 
This thing is nuts. Obviously, it says we could ride it. We can't ride it. It's just because they use he used the base animation of a dire wolf for all of them. So it says we could ride them, even though they're not actually rideable. They're too small. But these vicious little bastards are just awesome. Reading the dossier, you get so excited about them. They could essentially tear flesh off of bone as they're attacking something, so they don't have to wait till after they kill something to eat meat to recover health. They could recover health while they're attacking. They eat you fucking alive while they're eat while they're. It's just too much to think about. They rip the flesh off bone and eat it as they're attacking you. They don't stop and wait till you're dead. They take bites and chew it on the spot. That's the most baller thing ever. Which ensures that they regenerate health while they fight, of course, which is just too damn great. Obviously, they hunted about packs from three to five, which makes them stronger, makes them smarter. They won't even engage creatures unless, or unless like the, the payout's high. It's not like most of these dumbass creatures will run up and fight something that's a hundred times their size because that's just how they roll. These guys need to determine if it's really worth the damage that they're going to take. Unless something's hurt or injured or weak, and then they'll all just swarm it and rip its flesh off. <laughs> Look at this. See, this is terrifying right here. This is like my worst fear with these guys. This is why you have to have them tamed, because I'll bet the noises they're going to make. Oh, the noises they're going to make are going to be terrifying. Because they're supposed to have the most horrifying, like, hyena shrieking noises ever. Like, that shit you straight up hear from Lion King whenever anyone goes near. That whole hyena lair, which is just terrifying in its own sense. This image right here, though, of running through, like, desert tall grass trying to escape them. But not getting far, because look at the packs they just surround and scavenger. Or surround and track. I don't know why I said scavenger. I think I'm thinking of Call of Duty perks for some reason. These guys are gonna be great, though, for hunting. I, I don't know what I like more, honestly. The fact that that other creature regenerates health extra fast because it could eat every kind of meat. Or the fact that this one regenerates extra fast because it eats shit alive. That is just crazy. Or the hive creature, which doesn't regenerate health exceptionally fast at all, but instead lets off an army of insects that'll eat the flesh off your bones. You must be the chosen one, and you shall be my beta. Or you'd be the- you'd be Charlie, you'd be beta. I forgot I'm the alpha. Fucking ugly little bastards if I do say so myself, what is that? I see a little bit of like, torn back Rottweiler face, but like not beautiful Rottweilers, like some sort of Resident Evil Rottweiler with bat ears, and just a generally muscle body, like Built for, like, moving fast and attacking prey. Even his tongue is exceptionally red. It looks like he just ate a bunch of big sticks. You know, like those really red lollipops or fucking popsicles? Lollipops. All in all, we have a lot to look forward to. And I think this is, like, two creature updates away. That's why the creatures are barely usable as of now. Like, they each have, they each have one move, I believe, is the thing. But, like, they don't have all their moves. And a lot of the stuff can't even be implemented by mod devs till the arc devs complete it. Like, they can only do so much. They only have... They only have so much control over the creations. Anything except for that is just creating their own creatures, which they do do a lot of the time as well. And I know I said doo-doo. Dude, Jesus Christ, see these guys have an attack. They are fucking OP as hell though right there. <laughs> you crazy little bastards. You just ripped them apart. Well, follow me then. See, it's kind of hard to get an idea of their base strength right now, how strong they're actually going to be like once they're like... Because I know most people, even though they love mods, they want to get a sense of what arc vanilla base stats will be with the creatures that are implemented. It's hard to get that right now, because these guys are very damn strong. But they're part of the Mystic Academy mod, which means they have to be strong enough to fight Mystic Academy creatures. So it's completely understandable, otherwise they would just get, just you would tame them and they'd get one-shotted by a creature and then you'd, you would, you'd rage quit for the most part. I just love how much they swarm tackle. They do look like little, little fucking hellhounds, man, or just, not even hellhounds, hell hyenas. Oh, nice of you ladies to join us. Oh man, I can picture this happening. Slowly backing up against the wall as they all just circle around me. <laughs> That's gonna be fucked up. I wish that was the thing. I wish arc, arc creatures had that kind of AI where instead of just blind sprinting and biting at you, they actually had scary little attack methods. That would be hilarious. Or like if you're running away from them and they can manage to cut you off and then like kind of lure you against the wall. It would require some ridiculous level of AI, but... God damn, it'll be amazing. Hopefully in the future. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, but well, those are the three creatures that I'm most excited for in like two updates away. Obviously, they're not 100% complete, which I did mention during the video many times. So just keep in mind, they are going to have more things going for them. Like um, a few of those creatures I showed off a couple videos ago, how one of them is able to dig underground. But since the ARC devs haven't implemented that yet, the mod devs can't either. But right now, this is what we got and I'm fucking excited. I think I'm most excited for these guys and the hive creature. Just so I could stick a hundred of these guys on the hive creature. That's gonna be awesome.
So yeah, I hope you guys had a good time watching. Again, I apologize for my sore ass throat. Trust me, it's hurting me a lot more than it's hurting you. And yeah, make sure to download the mod in the description below, smack that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.